Things are really starting to ramp up. I just bought a new Emotiva 10 channel amplifier. So it's a custom configuration with, uh, it has four uh, high power amps and six uh, of their, like, kind of like their shared amplifiers that have the produce 65 watts per channel. You know, I already filmed the two videos about my, my seven channel amp, which is all high power amps. I needed another 10 channels of amplification to get my 11 bed layer channels plus another six overhead. Uh, so I needed 17 channels. Uh, so uh, I didn't want to get an 11 channel amp. I wanted to have my entire uh, bed layer of 11 speakers to get the full 200 watts per channel. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you with an unboxing. If you're interested in seeing an unboxing uh, for this, I already have a video where I unbox one of these. I'm just gonna spare you that. If you wanna see an unboxing, just refer to that video. I'll put a card up here and you can check it out. Um, so I'll just go ahead and unbox this off camera and then I'll just show you what the amp looks like. You know, they didn't have a picture of my, of my custom configuration, but as you can see, they even give you a little plaque with how my configuration, which is 10. It says 10 amplifiers, uh, four and three S, which means three stereo. Uh, so one module has two outputs. But yeah, and they say you gotta remove the sticker before using. So I'll let you guys check that out. Always fun. Oh yeah. So, yeah, so same XBA Gen 3, so it's gonna match perfectly with my uh, current seven channel amplifier. Has the same top, same everything, except the modules for a couple of them are a little different. They have the stereo modules, so I'll show you what they look like. So this is very similar to my, my other one, except I have three of these uh, stereo modules. As you can see, they, have, they each have two pairs of speaker posts. So I'll be able to power an additional six uh, channels with these. And uh, as opposed to these toggles, they'll let you go from unbalanced to balanced inputs. You know, these are kind of cool, these little, little toggle things. You get buttons instead, so, which is fine. The, having it out means RCA and in means uh, XLR, which is uh, balanced. And those are the, those are the uh, RCA inputs. Uh, but other than that, the same, you got the same power switch there, uh, like looks like a circuit breaker or, and uh, you can turn off the status, status LEDs, which I like on personally. Tr uh, you got a trigger in and a trigger out. I'm actually going to plug my, uh, I think I'm going to use, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of daisy chain the trigger and try that and go off of the, uh, the other amp, the other amp and just kind of go, I'm going to go out from out from the current my current seven channel amp and into this one and see how that works obviously you got your power there but yeah these uh binding posts are super beefy i love the super simple easy way to toggle between unbalanced and balanced it's pretty simple i mean it's it's an amplifier so it's a simple device obviously i just unboxed this thing uh, i can confirm that the unboxing was com exactly the same as the uh, my original experience with the with the uh, with the uh, Emotiva amps, extremely well back packaged, surrounded by dense foam. Nothing's gonna happen to this thing unless it's dropped or something. It's got to be something pretty catastrophic. The box came pristine, so we're all good. Uh, so yeah, so these are incredibly solid. Again, this is a ten channel amp. So you may be asking, why am I buying all these amps now? I'm not gonna be moving to the new theater to the new house in, for another maybe five months or so. Uh, the reason was a uh, 20% off sale that was that happened over the, the holiday season period. And I was like, you know, I don't know. I personally have not seen it go down that cheap. I think when I bought my other one, it was down to 15%. And well, I'm thinking I could buy now and say $400. And I know that they're, I don't see them making any like upgrades between now and when I'm moving. So I might as well get, save that 400 and something dollars. I think it ended up saving like $450. On the amplifier because this unit uh msrp is for about 20 about 2200 uh, so i think i got ended up paying about 1700 for it i did buy some uh, uh some rack ears uh to actually put it in a put it in an av rack when we actually install it in a real rack a real av rack which will happen in the new theater then i guess i can go over how they look and stuff but for now i'm just going to show you where I'm gonna put it in in the current uh, in my current theater. I'm not gonna go over like the whole installation process. I already made a whole video where I go over how to like set up one of these things on like with a receiver. I'm gonna be setting this up with my Pioneer Elite receiver, and this time I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be amplifying every single channel 
uh, in my home theater, which I have an 11 channel home theater. So all 11 channels are gonna be going off of the amps. I'm only gonna be using four of the channels in this one. I'm probably gonna use the high power channel since I have them, even though I'm, they're gonna be hooked up to, uh, to Atmos speakers in this room. I'll be able to actually put my, my receiver into like preamp mode, which I'll show you how to do that later. But for now, let's, uh, I'm gonna get this thing installed. Again, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. I'm just gonna kind of do it off camera. If you wanna see me, how I did, how you, you install one of these things, you can check out one of my video, my, uh, I'll put a link of one of my videos or a card up there so you can check it out. So let's install this thing. So as you can see down here, I have, there's my, the uh, seven channel Emotiva. And uh, I don't really have a better spot for it. So I'm just gonna, even though I did say in my original video that I did not want to put, you know, the 50, pu 50 plus pound amp on here, these things are pretty robust and, you know, pretty strong. So I think it'll be okay. I'm just gonna have to, you know, make some room for this. I'm probably gonna, uh, you know, retire the 360 and the PS3, which I don't even use. They're kind of just there for display purposes, I guess. So this just always been there. So I'm just gonna move these guys out and just make some room for the new amp, which is gonna go right above the seven channel amp, which is powering the bed layer. So I made, uh, looks like I made enough room here. I had to kind of mess with things a little bit and get a little creative, but uh, I made a pr uh, uh, an adequate enough amount of uh, space of breathing room. This bottom one is a little, you know, closer than I would like, uh, but you know, uh, these, these things don't get that hot, honestly. I've kind of put my hand on it and I'm not really pushing it that hard anyway in this room. So that's as much breathing as I can give it. Uh, obviously this is open. If you look back there, it's open. So it, there's, it's getting air from the front and the back and on the side. So the, it, the, it does have a little breathing room. So yeah, let me uh, finish putting everything back and I'll show you what it looks like. And I'll show you how I'm gonna daisy chain the, the trigger cable from the first amp to the second new amp. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna daisy chain the uh, the trigger signal from the original amp, which is down here. So I'm gonna plug it into that out one, which is below the in one, and I'm gonna run it all the way up, and I'm gonna run it into the in, into the new amp, and that should allow me to just you know have the signal that's running to this amp turn on this amp, at, you know without having to change anything from the receiver. Theoretically, it should work. Okay, so I got both amps, both monster amps installed. They look huge and probably overpowering because uh, like I said in my review video, the receiver that I had uh, did, a great, did a fine job uh, powering this, uh, the speakers in this room. It does look cool, uh, I'll give you that. And uh, well, there's the moment of truth. Let's see if that daisy chaining thing worked. So let's turn on the receiver and yep. Both amps came on immediately and the little blue, the little amber lights turned to blue. You got the red standby lights for each amp section and both amps lit up and we are ready to go. Now I just got to configure the receiver's preamp mode. So let's set up preamp mode in this receiver. So I'm going to go to system setup. I'm going to go to, I believe it's in miscellaneous, then go to preamp mode. Right now I have it set to front and center because I can't uh, even though I was, I was amplifying all seven of my bed layer channels, I could not, it was either all So now this is how I'm actually going to set it. I'm going to set it to all. So it's going to shut off the ampli the internal amplifiers for the receiver. I can do no preamp mode, which uses everything in the, you know, uses all 11 channels of amplification, or I can just do the front ones, or I can do front and center, which is what I had. And well, right now I'm just going to leave it at all because I'm actually going to, I'm going to be using the Emotiva amps to power everything in this case. So let me go back and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run, so I'll do full auto and uh, 7.1.4, that's my setup. I'm gonna, I have two subwoofers, that's fine. I'm gonna, so I got, uh, I got front high speakers, top middle. So somebody asked me why I have these set to top middle. It's because the, 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 the height channels in this, in this room are literally right on, right smack, right on top of middle of this, of the back row. So they're not like behind the seat. So I, I set it to middle. I actually tried rear for a while and, and I had it set to rear for a while, but then I set it to middle. I think it sounded a little better, but you know, uh, I really, in, in either case, it wasn't a really big difference. So I'm gonna hit next. Oh, I forgot to plug in the microphone. So the mic goes right here, plugging it in. Mic's connected now. So I had the setup mic uh, at approximately head height on my in the prime listening position. 
um, on a tripod. Uh, it's not ideal. You should. It's more ideal to have it like on a boom or something. But this is what I have, and it's worked okay so far. Um, so yeah, tripod, microphone. Let's go. So I'm not gonna run the whole thing. I'm just gonna kind of show you how it sounds like. I, ha I think I have a whole video where I go over this. All right, so I got everything hooked up right now. Uh, everything's working well with my receiver. I got both of them lit up down there. So uh, I'm gonna listen to them for a while and give you my full opinion in a couple of days and uh, see how I see what I think. Now that I have full external amplification, I'll just give you my full thoughts. So I've had both Emotiva amplifiers hooked up to my system for a couple of days now. I watched a couple of full movies and I demoed like Top, Top Gun Maverick in the scene where he does the mission in under two minutes, 15 seconds. Probably the, probably gonna be the biggest demo scene of the year. Maverick to range control. Entering point alpha. Confirm green range. Setting time to target, two minutes, 15 seconds. Like I said, I had them connected for a couple of days now, and list, uh, and uh, I gotta say, like I said in my review of my seven channel amp, um, when I pushed the amp, it was noticeable. Now that I have everything connected uh, via external amps, I think the, I think, you know, I don't know if it's placebo, it could, you know, I could be, this is just my subjective opinion. I think I, I think it, that it started to shine a little more. Even like at all volumes, I just I just felt that everything was a little everything kind of came alive a little more. Call me crazy, but I do think that I did notice uh, a significant difference now that I have everything running off of both amps. The by far the biggest difference that I felt was was when I cranked up the system to reference level. Oh my god, I've never heard this room sound so. It it just made everything more incredible. Uh, all the effects just sounded clearer. I feel like I have like a Ferrari engine in my my system now, all of a sudden, when before I had like a turbo four or, you know, a, a straight six or something. It just feels like I got so much overhead power that I could probably power a room two or three times as big as this one without any issue whatsoever. So obviously my new theater, the reason why I bought the, both of these amps was because they're going to go in my new theater, which I'm going to have 17 channels in that theater. So I'm going to need all that power. And this and that room is significantly bigger bigger than this one. I'm not going to say it's double as big, by you know, but it's it's a it's a big jump in size. I mean, we're talking 21 by 21 ish. This room is more like you know uh, more. This room is more like 16 by like 14 ish. So it's a it's a sizable increase in size. 
uh, as far as you know when you when you get a when you calculate all the you know the volume of it or maybe i'll throw the calculation of it up here but yeah uh, i'll i you know again i'm not going to shoot a separate video this is like my last video that i'm going to do on emotima ants for a while maybe i'll do a follow-up when i have them installed in the new theater and i'll give you my thoughts of how they sound within the new system because i'm going to i'm going to have them running off of a you know a true uh, processor not a receiver I'm probably going to start out with just unbalanced cables because I'm not going to go, I kind of want to, you know, try it out with unbalanced and then maybe do the switch over to balanced cables uh, and see if I noticed anything because everybody seems to swear that balanced cables are so much better. Um, you know, there is some scientific, you know, truth to that. You know, I can see how that could work out but like i said this is i'm only going to do the, this one video for this uh amplifier again this is the uh this is the ch 10 channel custom amplifier that i just bought overall i'm quite impressed with this new amp can't recommend emotiva amps enough i think they're fantastic for the money i think that they go head toe to toe to, with amps that are much more expensive and they do have that really cool look that i love I, I think they look really cool too to boot so they if they like I said in my original review, I think they, they look like they belong in a really decent, you know, high-end rack full of good equipment. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions about the amp or about this room or anything that I have connected to the system. If you can, it'd be really great if you can give this video a like. It really helps out a lot. And consider subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to keep growing, get this channel uh, even bigger than it is. So, but anyway, I'll see you in the next one.